snowing and we're gonna go to the grocery and see how the venom does. Hmm. I totally knew this was gonna happen. This is so fun. I wonder if we're both gonna end up just using the e-bike. So here's the thing is I work in the bike industry. I get a new bike every season pretty much. I want to try everything and ride everything. <laughs> That's I'm 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 addicted to bikes. My name is Bruce Lynn. I am the senior rider here at TPC. Oh, this is a good bike. I don't own an e-bike. I would say I haven't really had an interest in owning e-bike. I have no problems with them. I just don't think they were for me. But, you know, times are changing and maybe I'm gonna change too. We'll see. My name's Ellie Horn. At TPC, I'm a creative project manager and a marketing coordinator. It's one of the longest titles here at TPC. I live car free. I moved from Chicago to Boulder. Today was my first commute to TPC by bike. I am just about to head out from my house. It is 6.04 and I think Refill is like 14. In the city of Chicago, there are city e bikes and they're super fun. It became kind of like if I was going to dinner or something, I just wanted to show up, like honestly, just like ready to go. I would take the city e bike. So that was kind of my first experience with an e bike. But I just was like, I don't know that there's like the product that would suit my lifestyle. You ready to put your helmet on, Elliot? Yeah. My son is four. He goes to preschool and daycare now. I use a burly trailer. Basically, I hook that to whatever bike I'm riding at the time, and I've towed him around. It works well. I've taken him to and from his daycare. I would say he... It's not his favorite thing. In the burly trailer, you're kind of enclosed, and he's like way behind me. One reason why I haven't been using the burly recently is I've flipped it over with him in it a couple times now. You're just going really fast and uh, you go around a corner, there's a curb, and you kind of just forget where the burly is and it clips the curb and it flips over and he's okay. <laughs> he thinks it's fun, but for me it's horrifying. I have not commuted with my burly trailer a single time this year. I'm training for these big races and it is quite annoying having to like put this trailer on my race bike and take it off all the time. I've thought a lot about buying like a beater bike because I'm not going to park my really nice carbon bike outside. I just, I, I'm never going to do that. So I really kind of need something that I can like leave places, you know, the park, the grocery store, the indoor playgrounds we go to. I don't have that yet. I chose Benno, I think just because it is really versatile. As someone who's car free, if you don't have kids, the cargo front bikes don't really make sense for you, but then the performance ones also aren't serving your needs either. And so the Benno Boost Series 1 e-bike is fitting this in between those two ends of the spectrum. I was looking at a bunch of different utilitarian commuter style e-bikes. I basically wanted the one that had the most rack space for carrying people and things without it getting like absurdly large. I really like that it's the same length as all of my other bikes. I have all my bikes slotted into their spots, their parking spots in my garage, and this one can like just fit right in. I like that it has these really small 24 inch wheels, really low standover with a really easily adjustable saddle. Like my wife and I can both share it. I like the idea of having this little bike with massive bags instead of this super long bike that, I don't know, would feel like a boat. My new commute is 13.1 miles from Boulder to TPC's offices, and I think about five to 600 feet of elevation. This took me today like an hour and 15 about. You know, I was stopping for some photos. One of the favorite parts. My commute is this barn right here. I just love it every single time. It's definitely been my longest road commute. I think the e-bike 
will not only shorten that commute a little bit, but also hopefully like I'll, I'll be able to come home and I won't be as drained. Going 26 miles round trip in a day is definitely like not just a casual ride, so plus work. So I can get home and be like, all right, what are we doing? I'm actually gonna have like a direct comparison. I rode in this morning and I'll be riding on another bike tonight. So I think my prediction, we've been chatting about it around today. I think 50, 50 minutes will be my guess. With, well, today I think it'll be 55, but I think I can eventually get it to 45, 50 minutes. We'll see. I'm gonna test this thing out for a few weeks. I kind of think I might end up actually just buying it after the test. I'm stoked about not having a trailer anymore. Not having to think about it, not having to deal with it, not having to put it away. Other than, you know, safety and cars, the big thing I'm worried about is I am terrible at keeping things charged. It drives my wife crazy. My phone always dies, my laptop always dies. My head units on my bike always die because I just am so bad at charging stuff. And an e-bike, obviously, you gotta keep it charged. So <laughs> I think the charger is just gonna live next to the parking spot for the Beno. I'll just charge it every time I park it in the garage. I guarantee you I'm still gonna forget though. The big thing I wonder is if my wife is gonna start using this thing too. We take turns doing drop off and pick up. And I wonder if we're both gonna end up just using the e-bike. I think Elliot's gonna love it. He loves being outside. He loves being in motion on things, cars, yeah. boats, planes, yeah. whatever, bikes. So I think he's just gonna love it right away. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be very sad. Ready? I'm just leaving work and I'm freaking hype about cruising. It's kind of so outside, but I do feel a little bad just passing them on the uphills, but man, when you get this view, literally it'll take your breath away. My commute on a regular bike is a little over an hour and 15 minutes, depending on what pace I'm going. And then on an e-bike, it's about 50 to 55 minutes. So definitely a huge time saver. The most surprising thing for me was the bike. As it's loaded, it does not feel different to the rider the whole time. The level of effort is the exact same. It's Friday, it's snowing, and we're gonna go to the grocery and see how the Beno does. I did a wine pickup, beer pickup, and then I was getting like cat litter. So I had like 60 plus pounds on the bike and the level of effort was the exact same the whole time. I was like, oh, okay. We did kind of our normal grocery run. Hmm. Well, we're gonna see if it all fits. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed right now. This front bag, like look how loaded it is. We have like almost all the groceries in here. The chips on top, so they don't get crushed, but that is a lot of stuff. And then, oh man, in this pan here, two cases of sparkling water. I'm gonna put the fragile stuff on this side. I think we could have grabbed more. What do you think? Impressed? I was really surprised at how maneuverable this thing was. There's like a lot of super tight corners on the bike path that I was able to navigate fully loaded up pretty easily. I was really impressed with how sort of nimble it was. Seriously, like 180 degree uphill turns where I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to put a foot down. And I was actually able to just go up them. It's pretty cool. It's super nice about this front rack here is that it's actually attached to the frame rather than the wheel. So every time I turn, things don't really get jostled around. And the route I take is on paved and then kind of gravel trailways. It handles super chunky gravel really well. I have been riding in turbo. I feel like I'm admitting something there. Gauging speed is way harder. Thank God there is a speedometer on there, but most of the time I am going like 20 miles an hour and it doesn't feel like it at all. I'm on turbo. I'm going like 17 miles an hour and I'm scaring a bunch of dogs. So I'm trying to be a 
polite rider. Now that I'm like riding around on a bike that can go 20 miles an hour silently, I'm realizing I do need a bell to let people know I'm coming. We're pretty much using turbo mode for everything. Definitely turbo mode is the way to go. So yesterday there was a happy hour that I went to. I biked to the happy hour, had a sour. I ended up leaving it a little after seven, so I was like racing the sun. I had kicked it in the turbo mode and I was cruising. Put in my headphones, was listening to music, like it was great. And then I was like two miles away from my house when all of a sudden like it just like I was like, wait, I'm I'm not going that fast. <laughs> and then I was like, oh the battery ran out. I was like expecting like a beep or something where it would be like, it's happening. For context, the battery was only two bars charged when I left. So it wasn't fully charged. So I was just going through the bike paths, just like really slow. I totally knew this was gonna happen. The battery is dead. It died like a minute ago. So here I am, dead battery, chugging along at 13 miles an hour. So it still rides like a bike. Just getting a little sweaty now. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. It's a very uh, slow five miles. I think Elliot's still having a good time, right? You know what I really like? I feel like we're more connected. We're experiencing something together. Uh, I feel so cute, but he'll like hold my shirt while we're riding. He can like tap my back and point at stuff. If he wants to like me to look at something, you see something cool, he's done that a lot. I don't get that when he's in the Burley trailer. He takes a while to warm up to new things. And this last ride we did on Wednesday was probably the first time where he was really chill and excited to be on it. I think it's interesting people that are like core cyclists and have never ridden a pedal assist, their first reactions, because I think it's generally like surprise and delight. It's actually amazing. It was great when my mom was in town because she could just cruise and keep up with us. Because like I'm normally on like a light bike. She was like, it's really heavy, but I really like it. My wife, she likes it a lot. She's already borrowed it a few times to, you know, ride into work, which is like for her a 15 mile ride, which, uh, you know, that wasn't the plan for it, but now she's taking it to use it for that, which is good. That rear rack can hold more than enough for a kid. And actually my thought was kid and wife. We tested that out. It looks kind of goofy, but it's pretty fun. You have to be conscious of how you load it. My wife's not that heavy, but she was all the way on the back of the rack, so all the weights behind the rear wheel. And so steering was actually really, it felt really sketchy at first. Once she scooted forward, it got a lot more stable. But at first I thought, oh, we're gonna eat it. Coming from a background of racing bikes, the Benno felt really strange. So upright. The saddle's like a foot wide. So you're like sitting in a chair. It just didn't feel like a bike <laughs> to me, but you, know, you get used to it. I would say prior to using an e-bike regularly, I think I definitely thought that they were all throttle and I don't know, a little lazy. <laughs> that being said, I think just after seeing like the time savings for me and then living car free, the ease of which I could do like kind of harder errands definitely converted me to think like this is something I could see myself using regularly. It's about 10 minutes slower to get to daycare than it is by car, but it's probably 20 minutes faster than me towing a trailer on my gravel bike or something. I actually have gotten the most use out of it for like little random errands. Like anytime I just need like a single item from the store, I'm like, ah, that's I'm not gonna drive to go get that. Now I just go get it. I have the bike and it's just like, boom, I'm there and back. It's really reduced the amount I use my car. And it's also increased the amount I leave my house because I don't need to use my car. So it's had this like compounding positive effect on my life. Not a bad morning. It's gonna be a good day. You know, sometimes like riding a regular bike, like 13 miles this far, it kind of feels like a grind. But e-bikes are just like, they kind of like light you up with joy a little bit. 
Springs book, kind of like a childlike feeling of riding a bike um, on these like longer commutes. Like I don't mind it at all, it's awesome. For commuting, I definitely, definitely prefer the e-bike. This is so fun. I just laughed the whole time. <laughs> I think if your commute is long enough or you're not someone who loves riding through all terrain, or maybe you're on the fence about riding to work, I definitely think an e-bike is for you. Just plan, charge, and laugh. It's real. It's literally, they're so fun. Would you say you prefer the e-bike now? Yeah, I prefer the e-bike. It's a lot of fun. Now that I'm doing it, I'm like, why didn't I do it like two years ago? It just feels like I wasted so much time. <laughs> I've passed several people on the bike path who see us riding together and they're like, that's cool. Out loud, I've, I've had a lot of people comment on how cool it is. I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs>